Assalamu alaikum dear learners, this is Muhammad Shodil Islam, English teacher Malishni School and College. I hope you all are fine, I am also fine, Alhamdulillah. Dear learners, today we are going to enjoy another English class for the students of class 8. And our today's online video class number is 30. Today we are going to uh, learn a very important topic that is articles. Though uh, you have been learning it from class 1, still uh, you need to learn it more for the coming examination. Dear learners, I hope you all are doing your CWs, SWs regularly and uh, are submitting to your respective teachers. And I hope you all have learned your previous lesson. So I would like to ask some questions uh, from the previous lesson. Then uh, we will enjoy today's class. And again, I have designed today's class with the help of PowerPoint presentation. Dear learners, you should be very very attentive uh, in the video class and if you have any difficulty uh, in understanding the uh, any topic, any point, you must ask your teacher. Dear learners, uh, let's enjoy today's class now. Dear learners, evolution of previous class, here is the text for you. The text must be read by yourself, but now I am going to uh, read it for you. I am going to read it for you. William Shakespeare is known as the greatest dramatist of English literature. He was born and died on the 23rd April. He was born at Stratford on Avon in 1564. This is why he is called the Bard of Avon. He wrote 37 plays and 154 sonnets. They spread fame to his unrevealed knowledge of human nature and the sympathy and, and, and understanding with which he painted almost every type and class of character. In the poems, the poet's love of nature has been found an eco eloquent expression as has an undertone, his deep concern for the limitation of human society. In the rough weather, nature has no particular enmity towards men and it treats all equally. Dear learners, here is the text for you and you know there will be two types of questions and all are called information transfer. One is information table and another is the statements true or false. You should write it. And I have said the exercise for you. Write whether the statements are true or false. Give correct answers if the statements is false. There are five statements here. A. Shakespeare is famous for his plays. B. He was born on the 23rd April in 1564. C. Shakespeare painted only a certain kind of character. D. He was called the Man of Avon. E. Nature has particular friendship towards men in the rough weather. There are five statements here. The first one, Shakespeare is famous for his plays. Is it true or false, dear learners? Yes, it's true. You just write true, nothing else. You should not read, uh, should not reproduce, reproduce the whole sentence in your answer script. You just write the answer like that here I have mentioned. Number B, he was born on the 23rd April in 1564. True. Yes, true. Shakespeare painted only a certain kind of character. Is it true or false? Yes, it's false. And the correct answer is Shakespeare painted almost all kinds of characters. D. He was called the man of heaven. Is it true or false? Man of heaven? No. Yes, learner. This answer is false. And correct answer is he was called the bard of heaven. And the last one. Nature has particular, has particular friendship towards men in the rough weather. Is it true or false? Yes, it's also false. And the right answer. Nature has no particular enmity towards men in the rough weather. Dear learners, this is all about the previous lesson and now we are going to start our new lesson today. And today's topic, articles. 
I think you have been learning articles from class 1 to uh, and you are still learning it and you should learn it more carefully because uh, it's not so easy as you think. First of all, we must know the definition of article, then classification of articles and then uses of articles. Okay, dear learners. We have some objectives of the class. After the end of the class, the learners will be able to understand what article is and its class is definition. How many articles are there and their classification? Rules of articles and their uses. Okay. Then what will be the outcomes of our class? The outcomes of our class after the end of the class, the learners will be able to use correct articles in both speaking and writing. Able to do exercise for exams and able to write the answers properly. Okay. Dear learners, then a question before us, what is article? Actually, article is, uh, article is a partial speech and it is adjective. Article is a part of a speech that indicates a species and limits a noun. It particularizes the grammatical definiteness of the noun. It is always followed by a noun or noun phrase. And sometimes we call a, a, an, and the are called articles. Okay. Dear learners, how many kinds of articles? There are two kinds of articles, so you know they are definite article and particularly it's only the and indefinite article. Indefinite, there are two indefinite articles, they are A and N. So how many articles are there? There are three articles, D, A and N. D is definite article, A and N are indefinite article, okay. Dear learners, what is definite article? When D introduces a noun, explicitly states it as the particular noun is called the definite article. Article D is definite article. Only D is definite article. It shows the particularity of a noun. It can generally be used before all types of nouns. The use of D makes a noun or noun phrase definite, specific. For example, there are some newspaper, picture of newspaper here. The name of the newspaper is Daily Telegraph, but we must write the Daily Telegraph because we know the is used before the name of a newspaper. Dear learners, then our question, what is indefinite article? A word used before a noun to denote that the noun can belong to any class of objects is called indefinite article. <coughs> a and N are called indefinite article. There are two indefinite articles, A and N. They are used with both singular countable noun and units of uncountable noun. That means you can use A or N before a singular countable noun but you cannot use it un before uncountable noun. But you can use it before units of uncountable noun. Okay. Specifically, article N is used with a vowel sound, not later. Usually, you oh know, we must use N before uh, a vowel. Not like that. We must use N before vowel sound. Vowel letter and vowel sound. And article a is used with a consonant sound, not the letter consonant. Okay. The use of A and N makes a noun or noun phrase indefinite. For example, a cricket player. Here, cricket player. Player is countable, singular countable noun. And cricket here, C is consonant and sound is also consonant. So, we use A. On the other hand, apple. An apple. Why we should write 
N here because here the first letter is vowel A and E sound is also vowel sound. So we write N before apple. Dear learners, now the question what is zero article? Zero article that means there is no article. Where we should not use article is called zero article. Still, there are various cases where we should not use articles. To ensure grammatical correctness, we should pay attention to few important rules on where to avoid articles. Okay. For example, I went there on Sundays. Here, we cannot use any article before Sunday. This is zero article. Another example, I like cricket. We cannot use any article before cricket because cricket is the name of a sport. So we, we cannot use any article before the name of a sport. Okay. Dear learners, uses of articles, you must know about use of A, use of N, use of the and zero article. That means whenever we have an exercise, we must use A and the. But where uh, 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 an article is not needed, we must put a cross that is called zero article. Okay. First, we must know some rules, uh, some uses of R, the superlative degree of adjective. We must use the before superlative degree. For example, the most, the brightest, the best, the tallest, most, brightest, best, tallest, all are superlative degree. Parallel comparatives, we must use the before parallel comparatives. For example, the sooner, the better. Here, sooner and better, both are parallel comparatives. So, we use the before sooner and also before better. Nouns, which are repeated. We must use the before the nouns which is repeated. For example, we have a garden. The garden is full of flowers. Here, the garden, the second garden is, second garden is that means a garden. The garden is repeated here. So we must use the before the second garden. Religious groups and their books. For example, the Muslims must follow the Quran. Here Muslim is a religious group and their holy book is Quran. So we use the before Muslims and the before Quran. Like that the Hindus must follow the Mahabharata, etc. Name of a nation, we must use the before name of nation, for example, the English, that means English people, the Bengali, the Bengali people, they are learners. And the next one, name of newspaper and epic, for example, the Daily Star has published an article on the Shahnama. Here, Daily Star is the name of a newspaper and Shahnama is the name of an epic, so we must put the before daily star and also before shahana heavenly bodies like planets the moon the sun the earth huh? okay before ordinal numbers he is the first boy of the class here first is ordinal number so we must use the before first mountain ranges not a single mount group of islands not a single island okay Deserts, for example, the Himalayas, the rains, mountain rays of Himalayas, the Maldives, Maldives, there are uh, many islands in Maldives, the Shahara Desert, okay, like that, the West Indies is also like that, name of rivers, seas, oceans, canals, ships, for example, the Podda is the name of river, the Red Sea is the name of sea, uh, the Atlantic is the name of ocean. The Titanic is the name of a ship. Okay. So we must use the before all this kind of noun. And before date, we must write, use the before date, 10th October. The 10th October. Before adjective to mean a class as plural common noun. For example, the poor, the idle. Poor and idle uh, are adjective. But here, the poor, that means all the poor people. Idle, that means all idle people. Here is plural common noun. Abstract idea of common noun. 
For example, the mother rose in her. Mother is a common noun, but here the mother is not like mother. It's the motherhood. Okay. So we must use the before a common noun. Like that, the father, the brother, the father that means fatherhood, the brother that means brotherhood, etc. Comparing between two famous person, for example, Nozul is the Shelly of Bangladesh. Here, Nozul is compared um, uh, to Shelly. That is, Shelly, so we use the before the compared person. That means Shelly. When adjective comes before a proper noun, here, the great Akbar was a mighty ruler. Akbar is a proper noun and great is an adjective and it comes before Akbar. So, we must use the before the great. When noun express superlative meaning, for example, Sakiba Hassan is the man of the mess. Here, man is common noun, but it, is, it means superlative meaning, so the man. Okay. Dear learners, now we are going to learn, know some rules um, about N and where we should use N. The first uh, rule with vowel sound, we should use. Uh, a noun uh, we should we should use n before a noun that um, that has vowel sound at the beginning for example apple we know there are five vowels a e i o u and a sounds a e sounds a i sound i or e O sound O, 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 or O, U sound A. So apple and apple and elephant and ice cream and old man and umbrella etc. Before abbreviation which begins with consonant letters but have vowel sound. For example, F. F that means A plus F. F. Like that. H, L, M, N, R, S. Example an MP, MP, an SC, S, an MAA, M, an LLB, L, L, A, L, L, an FRCS, AF, an ACC, AC. So we must use N like this kind of word. Which singular countable noun starting with consonant letter but have vowel sound? An hour. An heir, an honest clerk, an honorable politician, an hourly payment. We hear pronounce our, not our. Air, not hair. Honest, not honest. That means here ace is silent. So we sound here our, the vowel sound. Where ace is sound, or ace is silent and we sound vowel, so we used n, though ace is consonant. Okay, the sound is vowel, so we use N, 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 N. And some use of A. Why we should use A? With consonant sound, a box, a horse. Before abbreviation, it begins with consonant letters like B, C, D, E, Z, A, B, A, A, C, A, A, Z, C. With English vowels, which sometimes sound consonant. A European, a university, a utopia, a one-eyed man, a ui. Here the sound is very important. Here uh, the first letter is vowel, but sound is u, u. Here the vowel first letter is u, but sound is u, not a. Here u also sound u. Here O sound not O, wa one, and here E later is E and it's vowel but sound is U, so we must A. It's not vowel sound; it's consonant sound. Okay. With expressions or with some phrases dealing with number, for example, at a glance, a lot of, a dozen. A little, a hundred, a great many. Okay? This phrase, we should keep.
keep the, we should know the meaning of this phrase. After words like what, la, quite many such, many what are uh, quite uh, many uh, such, uh, for example, what a beautiful art, many a soldier is injured. Here we use a after what, we use a after many, not before many, okay. Such a pitiful situation, they created quite a dramatic scene. Before must, we must a uh, before must. For example, study is a must to do a good result in exam. Here, must is not a verb, it's a noun, okay? Dear learners, now we know the some rules where we should not use articles, that means zero articles. Before proper noun, we should not use any article before proper noun, like he lives in Dhaka, they saw Ronnie. Dhaka and Roni are proper nouns, so we, we should not use any article before proper noun. Before material nouns, water is liquid, iron is a useful metal. Here water and iron, both are material nouns, so we should not use any article before them. Before plural nouns, he sells pens, here pens, the word is plural, so we should not use any article before pens. Before the name of festivals, we should not use article before the name of festivals like the Muslims celebrate Eid al-Fitr. Eid al-Fitr is the name of festival. So we should not use any article before Eid al-Fitr. Like that the Christians celebrate Christmas and should not use any article before Christmas. Complement of factitive verb. We made him captain. Here made is factitive verb and its complement is captain. So we should not use any article before captain. The next one before religious health and educational institution. For example, Jamal goes to mosque every day. You can mosque here, mosque is a, a, a religious a, a institution. On the other hand, my daughter has gone to school, is an educational institution. Like that, if you have any name of hospital, then you should not use any article before that. Because the main purpose is to mosque. Jamal goes to Jamal goes to mosque. That means Jamal goes to mosque to pay his prayer okay and my daughter has gone to school that means my daughter has gone to school to study or to teach there not this is the main purpose okay if you have any other purpose then you should use the before that kind of noun with news headlines like titles like us wins the world cup here we, ma we have to write the USA, but when it's uh, used in headlines or titles, we should not use the before it. Before clothing, uh, indefinite, uncountable noun, names of relatives like she is wearing shorts. Okay, shorts is clothing. I like to drink apple juice, uncountable noun. Mother just arrived from the church, mother is the name of relative. And did, did you meet father? It also name of relatives. Name of mountain or lakes, not mountain race, a single mountain, single lake, then you can write Mount Everest, Kisan Lake, not the Mount Everest, the Kisan Lake, you should not write that. Now, use of some other name of language, we cannot use any article before the name of language, English, Bangla, French, Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, Russian. Name of sports, cricket, swimming, basketball, football, golf. We cannot say the cricket is very interesting game. No, cricket is very interesting game. We should not use article with the following given words expression. Like by bus, we cannot use any article meaning the middle of by and bus. Dinner pen, we cannot use any article like uh, in the middle of dinner and pen. Hard pen, kind of short of type of thing in time per hour at night at noon all morning all day on holiday at work at school on board at risk under control on fire in fact in place of you should memorize it okay before the name of meals you cannot try uh, use any article before the name of meals like breakfast lunch supper dinner etc i have my breakfast at 7 am before the name of days, months and seasons, right, who doesn't like spring 
the name is, is spring is the name of a season so we should not use any article before spring on the other hand i have to go to uh, shopping on sunday sunday is the name of the day of a week so we should not use any article before sunday monday tuesday or wednesday thursday friday we cannot use it that august is the his favorite month it's cold in autumn here august and matam we cannot use any article before august and before autumn exceptional use of articles some use i go to school regularly here i go to school regularly that means i go to school uh, to study or to teach the main purpose of a school sometimes my father goes to the school here we use the it means my father is not a teacher or not a student she has a black and a white cat that means she has only one cat it's a mixed color black and white but when we say she has a black and white cat that means she has two cats one is black and another is white the headmaster and uh, secretary was present here the headmaster and secretary is the same person so we use was here and when we use the headmaster and the secretary we must wear that means there are two persons the headmaster and the secretary are two separate persons here you are a shakespeare i see here i i don't mean you are a shakespeare i mean you have the quality of shakespeare a babul came here yesterday that means a man namely babul but i don't know like that we can use a bubble came here yesterday helen was a beauty helen we know is was a very beautiful lady mentioned time and she is the symbol of beauty so uh, though beauty is an abstract noun we can use a before beauty this is a most interesting fun here this is a very interesting fun here most means very when when most refers uh, to very we must use a before a most this is not superlative degree dear learners let's have an exercise now fill in the gaps in the following text to the appropriate articles a and or the put across where no article is used that means zero article this tiger is known as a ferocious animal this tiger kills to eat it can kill a deer in 2 or 3 minutes and dash buffalo in 5 minutes it always charges from dash side or dash rear with a quick lap it topples dash victim instantly dash victim does not have the slightest dash warning of dash tiger's approach the 10 there are 10 gaps here you must uh, um, fill all the gaps with appropriate articles a or n or the and put a cross where no article is used that is called zero article that means we have four symbol here a or n or the or cross symbol of cross here is the answer for you first one is tiger is a singular countable noun so we can use a a tiger is a noun known as ferocious animal here tiger is repeated here so we can use the tiger kills to eat um it can kill a deer in 2 or 3 minutes here yeah, 3 minutes three is adjective and its noun we cannot use any article in the middle of adjective and noun so we, we put a cross here and a buffalo buffalo is a countable singular noun so we can use a before buffalo in 5 minutes it always charges from side we cannot use any article before side or uh, um rear with a quick lap it topples dash victim a victim instantly and the victim does not have the slightest warning of dash tiger's approach the answer is like that a the cross a cross cross a or the the cross and the and you should keep in mind you should capitalize the answer if it is needed here a is the um, first letter of a sentence so you should capitalize it you should not um, uh, capitalize any letter which is not to be capitalized a tiger a tiger is known as a ferocious animal the tiger kills to eat it can kill a deer in 2 or 3 minutes cross and a buffalo in 5 minutes it always surges from cross side or cross 
with a quick lab it topples the victims or a victims you can use both a or the and you must use the at the beginning of this sentence the and you must capitalize it the does not have the slightest warning here adjective and noun you cannot use any article in the middle of adjective and noun and of a tigers not tigers here the tiger is a specific so you must use definite article the okay I think dear learners you all have understood all the um, rules and uh, I think you, you will have the ability and I believe it you will have um, you uh, will have the ability to do all this exercise okay dear learners now it's time to homework and your homework number 30 exercise 1 to 10 you must learn all these exercises from your book and uh, you um, do exercise number eight, uh, six and eight uh, written. You must write all this answer and submit it to your uh, respective teachers um, uh, in written. And all these exercises you must learn from your Navadur book. Dear learners, and this is time to go. Thank you very much. I think you um, uh, you 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 are understood. You are well understood about uh, um, understood about the subject matter, and I hope you will stay home, stay safe. Allah peace.